I think I'm the only surgeon or doctor in the room, medical doctor in the room. So, and my interest is mainly in the healthcare system uh, of not just Ghana, but the rest, of, the rest of Africa. And I also believe that when it comes to women, the health system is um, disproportionately um, against or doesn't favor women within our society. And as the only surgeon or doctor in the room, I'm hoping that I can bring some ideas into the system that would really help with um, our health policies across board. Um, as you know, women are take bear the brunt of all our healthcare needs in the, in the in Africa mainly, and Africa has the biggest population of people that don't have access to healthcare. Even with those who have access to healthcare, it's not adequate. Um, the women bear the brunt because, for instance, in Ghana, when somebody gets admitted to the hospital, there's really no nursing care. So who has to bathe you and feed you and turn you has to be a family member and oftentimes it, it, it's the woman or the mother of the family that has to leave the village and move miles away to come to the big city to take care of a sick um, family member. So we are disproportionately affected by the health policies in Africa and um, if I can bring some ideas and policy directions to the group in terms of specifically healthcare and more importantly surgical care. Um, when we talk about healthcare we talk about primary care but I think that um, most people are dying in the villages or are maimed in the villages not necessarily because they didn't have primary health care but because they didn't have really surgical care or proper anesthetic care. So that's a whole different mindset of how we look at health policy and also healthcare in Africa. We, I mean, research tells us that there's a billion people in Africa, mainly sub-Saharan Africa, who have no access to surgical or proper anesthetic care. And those are the, one, the billion, we call them the bottom billion. And the bottom billion are the ones that I want to target. And so hopefully some of the things I've learned and the ideas I have would come to help the women in the Amoja sisterhood um, to help us manage or help us um, go back to our countries and help with the direction of our health policy.